Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo and today is another Honey Do creation. Each month, SJ Designs Jewelry has a photo that has been taken by her husband as an inspiration. This month, we have this beautiful picture that was taken in Chicago. After you check out what I made for this month's challenge, I hope you go over to her blog to see what she has come up with. I'll leave a link to that down in the description box below. So when you look at this picture, we have red, black, and then kind of an off-white, like a maybe a gray-white there. And so I got my beads out. And I really like these beads. They're kind of off-centered holes, and I think they'll be fun to use in my project. Not really for sure what that is yet, but I'm going to use these beads, I believe. And I think I might want to use these beads. They're kind of a silvery gray. And that might really be pretty to use. And then for the black that's in there, I think I want to use these. And these are just some glass beads. They have some AB to them. And let's see, what else? Um, I need to get some more white in there. I'm thinking about using these leaf beads. Because when you look in here, we have the flowers and there's some leaves there. So maybe I'll throw those in. And maybe I'll throw these in. These kind of remind me of the fence a little bit. I'll post a better picture of this so you can see it closer. But I think these are the beads I'm going to use. All right, now I figure out what I'm going to make. Something else I might throw in there, I found an assortment of spacer beads, and I definitely need some spacer beads. And then I found these flower beads. Or they're actually flower links. So maybe I'll try to do something with those too. And then I have some of this red wire that I'm going to probably use in here. By the way, I tried to see if these beads would fit on the wire. And these leaves don't fit. I still want to use them. So anyway, let me figure out what I'm going to do next. I've decided that I was going to make an ornament. And what I did is I just figured out a pattern. And I added some of these clear glass beads. I wanted something where you could see more of the red wire showing through. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a loop on this end. So I'm going to wrap it around. And it's going to kind of be a messy loop. And then I just need to make sure I tuck this wire in. like so. Inspect a little bit, okay. Bring all these beads down to the very end. And then I'm going to need to determine how much I need here to make another loop. So, go down about that much. I probably don't need that much, but it's better to be safe than sorry. And then I'm going to feed this end into this loop. And I have found that that bead's going to go through there, and I don't want that to happen. So I probably need to end with a bigger bead. May just take that off. Okay. 
Okay, that is what I'm going to do. You're really not going to be able to see this part much anyway. I don't know. I'm thinking about putting a bow on, but maybe I may put a dangle down here because I still haven't used these yet and I really wanted to. So what I've decided to do, I went ahead and put a black bead on the top there and finished it off, wired a, a loop, and then I'm going to dangle this in the center. I just uh, made a loop at the bottom and hung this little flower and now I'm going to hang this on here so it'll dangle in the center. And I have it all done. I topped it off with some ribbon, black, red, and kind of a sheer white. I think it turned out pretty good. It's gonna look good on the tree this year. Are any of y'all making ornaments for your tree this year? Let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate that. Mostly though, I hope y'all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing up for now. Bye-bye.